I'm Aditya and welcome back to the channel. This is a very beautiful morning in Bern, Switzerland. As you know, if you have seen last vlog, we went to Jungfrau and a couple of other places. Today our plan is we will be going to Mount Titlis. Then we will be going to Lucerne and Zurich. Zurich I don't think we will be able to see. It depends upon how much time we will take in Mount Titlis. It's already 9 o'clock. We will leave by 9.30 once everyone is ready. In the night we will be going to Rhine Falls. Today there is some special event in the Rhine Falls where there will be fireworks and stuff like that. That's the main reason we had planned this Switzerland trip this weekend. We will finish that and then we will return back to Stuttgart. So my guess is we will come to Stuttgart by around midnight 2 am, 3 am. We have done a little pit stop here, uh, just around 10 minutes drive from our hotel to get the pictures of the Bern city. The Bern is actually divided into two parts like Old Bern and New Bern. Old Bern is UNESCO World Heritage Site and Bern is the de facto capital of Switzerland. The river Aare flows around the Old Bern. Once you are crossing that bridge, the bridge which leads to the old town, there is a enclave where they have kept all the bears. Our car is parked here and we are just going down this footpath and cross the bridge to see the bear enclave. The car will come down there and we'll directly get in the car and go to Mount Titlis. To be frank, I have no idea why they have kept the bear. It feels weird to keep them enclosed here. Basically this enclave, small enclave and the one we saw earlier, it's connected to this cave system to the larger part of the enclave, which is this part. Beside the river, they have put a barricade and there is another small stream connecting to this enclave. And you can see the bear will go through that small tunnel and it will go to that small enclave. The capital of Switzerland is built on a sandstone ridge encircled on three sides by the array flowing through a valley. The charming character of the well-preserved old town is integrated into the everyday life of the city, causing it to be recognized by UNESCO as a World Heritage Site since 1983. This old area is where many of the best places to visit and things to do are located, including all of the bridges across the array public fountains, old statues, towers and the famous clock tower. The streets are cobbled and bordered by covered arcade sidewalks that snake on for miles. The unmistakable charm of the old city never ceases to wow people. The views are simply amazing in this drive. I feel like every one minute, every two minute, I want to take photo, I want to take video. So I think in this video, I'll be putting a lot of journey. I have already consumed about 45% of GoPro battery just in the journey. Whenever you search Switzerland, either you will see these mountains, Alps, or you will see this grassland, these valleys. Super green, it's very rich in color, and it's very pretty. To be honest, my vocabulary is very bad. Hence, I am missing some good words to describe the beauty of it. We were on the way to Mount Titlis. Our uncle, he saw the temple and he immediately stopped. Talk about unlucky. Today is the one day I didn't take bath and I can't go inside. Everyone else has gone inside. I had just washed my face. Yesterday evening I took bath after I came from Fro and when we went to Rome. After one month, this is the first time I'm seeing a temple. So yeah, it's good. And it is even located in a pretty backdrop. Anyway, people are coming back. We will continue our journey to Mount Titlis. Years old. It has 
four bedroom and this was a kitchen we missed out on this we wanted to come this weekend because of the fireworks in the rain falls if we had come last week or next week this would have been available and it's in the middle of this beautiful village you hear the sound of go cow bells from that hut over there yeah we really missed out on this we would have even gotten the feeling of being in the switzerland the real switzerland it's a 2 hour drive from bern to mount etlis since we took so many breaks it felt a little longer than that but there was no complaints whatsoever as all of us were busy appreciating the scenic beauty in our journey for the first time in this trip i had a chance to sit in the front seat and i utilized the opportunity to my best capturing some amazing shots We came to the base of Mount Etlis, which is Engelberg. There are three stages to this climbing Mount Etlis. Not exactly climbing; you will be taking cable car. Uh, you have to change one cable car at the top. Uh, from there, it will be rotating cable car, and then you will reach the top of Mount Etlis. That is the first rotating cable car which was established. Mount Etlis is about 10,000 feet above the sea level. If you don't go to Jungfrau, this is a very good alternative because it cost around 100 euros. when i saw in the internet but we are currently going to the ticket counter and we'll just check out the rates and we'll start going there is a live cam available everywhere with the live cam you can actually see what's the status at the top and you can decide we are currently here in engelberg cable car starts and see that is the ticket list you will get the ticket from the ticket counter and you can stick this to your shirt your bag wherever and you can head to the cable car The ticket price is around 100 euros for a round trip. Eight people can sit at a time in the first cable car. Each cable car has a different country flag on it, but I missed to see which flag our cable car had. There is even a hiking route available if you have the time and energy. The cable car system connects Titlis Valley Station to the summit of Klein Titlis through two stages. Located at 2,428 meter is Trupsi, which is an intermediate stop. halfway between engelberg and stand there are many adventure activities and restaurants and a gorgeous lake i recommend visiting titlis first and then while coming back to head to tuxi and enjoy all these activities once you reach the stand you have to change the cable car the titlis rotated cable car rotates its way up towards the snow covered summit of titlis the world's first revolving cable car transports you from the middle station at stand up to the summit station The cable car revolves 360 degrees during the 5 minute trip. This last part of cable car leads mostly alongside and above the glacier. The attractions in Titlis is spread across 5 floors. As soon as you come out of the building complex, I'm sure Bollywood fans would be very happy seeing the cardboard picture present in the center. Here you will find Shahrukh Khan Kajol in DDLJ. Apparently it was shot somewhere here. So once you come out you can go to that bridge glacier walk. Uh, on the way you will get this Kajol and Shahrukh's photo. Even though we are surrounded by cloud and snow it's not actually cold. So I'm comfortable in this shirt. Maybe once the time passes I'll feel cold and I'll have to take out my sweat shirt and it's more skiddy actually than it was in Jungfrau. We headed towards Ice Flyer. It is located at the top of Mount Titlis right next to the suspension bridge. It connects the summit of Titlis to the glacier park. In summer you can do winter activities here and in winter you can ski on the summit. There is also a view point but because of the visibility we couldn't see anything. I decided not to go in it as the clouds would be blocking the view of the glacier. 
However, if you are visiting in summer, then it's definitely something you should do. Please note that if you get a regular Mount Titlis ticket, just like us, Ice Flyer isn't included. You will have to pay an additional 12 Swiss francs for it. As you can see, it is fully cloudy. I mean, there is no view. And even in the Ice Flyer also, there is no view. So we are waiting here. We waited for 10 to 15 minutes. There is no change in the weather. So we decided we'll anyway go and if the weather clears we'll again come back. If the weather was clear it will be really good because it's like a hanging bridge. The whenever you walk the bridge shakes and if the weather was clear you could actually see the slope. You can see the views of the mountain. Now I'm just standing still. I hope you can see the bridge movement but it's completely safe you don't have to feel scared only thing you have to be afraid is if you drop something which will fit in this hole it's gone forever it's pretty cool to walk on this and if the weather was clear it would have been much more better wow bridges there are too many people bridges shaking off bridges shaking real good now this is good when we are coming it was pretty much static but right now many people are there this is how it should be at the other end of cliff walk, there is staircase which leads to the next attraction. On a side note, it was good to see SOS phone available as the mobile network signal isn't available in Mount Titlis. After walking through a long, dark and freezing passage, we came to Glacier Cave. Glacier Cave is a 150 meter long ice tunnel located deep under the glacier. The temperature inside the cave is just below the freezing point. Just keep in mind that it's very cold and very slippery inside. We saw a lot of ice sculptures lit in different colors. There is a ice chair which is lit with varieties of colors and it makes a very good hotspot for good Instagram type pictures. Make sure to go there before it gets crowded. If you see now, it has cleared a bit I guess. Now I am purposely shaking this bridge. This is fun to do. If you go to the ice cave, you come back here again because if you take the other exit, it's just normal. You will get those kind of exits everywhere. But you won't get this kind of bridge everywhere. So when you go to the ice cave or the glacier cave, you take the bridge again and come back. When you go in the bridge or to that flyer, you can actually take your photograph and it will come like this. You should remember your number and then you can come here pay the amount and collect the photos now you can see clearly the flyer going when we came earlier everything was covered we couldn't see anything maybe if you wait for another hour even the bridge will be clear when we came back near the station i saw a rope and some people standing nearby i couldn't see much because of the clouds and i was not sure what was going on but soon the clouds cleared and i saw a guy walking on the rope just by seeing him, I was feeling the chills. It takes amazing skills, courage and practice to do something like that. I remember seeing a film called Walk, starring Joseph Gordon-Levitt who walks between the twin towers of World Trade Center. This was so much similar to that. When he came near the end, he started playing with the rope, flipping his arms and intentionally moving the rope. Then he started posing for the camera. As I traced back the rope, I realized that the rope is actually starting from a mountain behind this cliff, which is very much longer than what I had initially thought. Inside this station, there is a shop to rent traditional dress and get your photos taken. You can even rent shoes in case you had not brought it. Besides this shop is a panorama hall where you can relax and if the weather is clear, get some amazing views. If you have packed some food, this is also a very good place to have that. There is also a restaurant available and the prices are pretty good considering the location. You get snacks like chips and peanuts. Then you get instant noodle soup to have in this cold weather. If you are up for it, you even get wide varieties of ice cream flavors available in a cup or in a waffle cone. Even here, there is a Lindt chocolate shop similar to Jungfrau. You can choose your favorites from over 300 different specialities or create your own personal pack of chocolate. In the next episode, I continue my journey and hop on the rotating cable car and go to the Lake Krupsi. 
Then we make a small pit stop in Lucerne and explore the famous Chapel Bridge and the Lion Monument. In the night, we go to the famous Rhine waterfalls and witness the amazing Rhine fireworks. Thank you for watching the video and stay tuned.